Sabotar, the Stimulator. This is a very powerful ancient deity. He is associated or classified as a god and is associated with some very powerful elements. The sun, which is again the bringer of life for most culture, but also gold, probably for its ability to conduct energy. Savitar is also associated with war and warfare and also motivation. He is brought to us from Vedic mythology, so we would classify as Brahmanic, associated with Hinduism. His abode is in heaven. His weapon is a sacred bow or magical bow that was known to shoot flaming arrows that never missed their mark. He had various consorts and was most known for riding a golden chariot that was pulled by these magnificent black steeds. In literature, he is connected through the Rig Veda where he is mentioned several times. His association with the chariot obviously brings up the idea of the Greek Apollo who also rode a chariot throughout the sky. And Savitar was the Vedic god who oversees the whole span of heaven, but he is also the force that drives man and animals into activity, thus his name, the Stimulator. And he was a magical sight to see him riding in this golden chariot, wearing a suit of golden armor. He was indeed a glimmering god, a reflection of the sun. He was associated with the Hurrian deity Sauska, and it is said that he, with Sauska and the thunder god Donar, formed a sacred trinity, which was called the Heavenly Trinity. This deity was heavily celebrated in 11 hymns of the Rig Veda and many parts of other hymns, and his name is spoken 170 times in total. Yet, in modern Hinduism, Savitar is not openly worshipped or directly worshipped. He has been described as a kind and giving deity. He raises aloft his strong arms and blesses and arouses all beings, and his reach extends throughout the earth. Again, an amazing and beautifully described deity of true power who the people fell behind and worshipped. In his association as a solar deity, it brings to mind research on the Canaanite Shapash, the Kemetic Aten, and the Greek Apollo, who were all themselves deities related to the sun. And the idea of his association with gold is probably related to gold and its own properties of conducting and storing energy on cosmic levels. Thank you again for stopping in at Nine World Chronicles as we explore the connections that these deities give us from their associations within their cultures and how they're written about and represented in mythology. As always, we ask that you like and subscribe.